Good morning, and it is a good morning today. Let me tell you why. Number one, the sun is shining. I'm actually borderline to be putting sunglasses on to film this because it's coming through my window over here. We had an announcement from Bojo yesterday. The big announcement, if you live in the UK, you know how exciting announcement nights are. Um, and he pretty much announced when normal life will be going back. Um, at the time of filming this, it is February the 23rd, and he reckons by June the 21st, life should be normal again. So that is like just light at the end of the tunnel. He started to tell us what all the phases are going to be, and honestly, I woke up in the best mood ever. Just put some makeup on. Um, I have a bit of a, a busy day today. I've got to go to the shops. Um, We've got like nothing in the house really food wise so i need to get some bits of dinner and stuff i'm meeting my uncle for a dog walk later oh my god must tell you the funniest story before i carry on so because of the pandemic obviously you can only meet people um, outside of your household on a walk basically it's the only time you can see anyone else and so i've been sort of staggering my daily dog walks with different members of my family just so i can see them and uh my uncle he asked to we, we arranged to meet a few weeks ago and he must have been late coming to meet me because he hadn't eaten lunch in a flap and he just like oh he was just all like rushed you know anyway i was waiting for him at this big field and i was like come on hurry up anyway he got there and he got this sandwich out of a sandwich bag as we were walking the dog and i was like why have you got a sandwich for he's like, oh i don't have time to eat lunch i'm in a rush blah 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 i was like fine anyway he had this peanut butter sandwich and um as he was walk as he was eating so he was eating it and then obviously as he was walking he must have had it like down the side next to his hip and out of nowhere don ran up and went <laughs> and took the sandwich out of his hand and then my uncle because he was so shocked he like threw his hands in the air and he was like ah, like that and then don thought great i i that sandwich was delicious jumped up at my uncle he had really muddy paws jumped up at my uncle's jeans so my uncle was in like for fuck's sake so then he got the sandwich and threw it like to basically like to tear it don don then ran and got the sandwich oh my god it was so funny and because it was a peanut butter sandwich it kept getting stuck to don's like roof of don's mouth so don for the rest of the walk was like <laughs> honestly it was so funny so um I did say to him today when we meet up for a walk, I was like, don't bring a sandwich because you've only got yourself to blame. A peanut butter sandwich, like to a dog, be like someone leaving a trail of Ferrero Rochers out for me, you know, it'd be the same thing. Anyway, reason why I keep focusing down here is because my George Asta delivery has arrived. And if you saw my Instagram stories in the last few days, you'll know that I ordered some baby basics. Now, the reason I'm saying baby basics is because I needed just to buy sleep suits baby grows things like that but i didn't really want to go all out and buy a lot because um obviously babies grow out of them so quickly anyway there's not really much point me going all out in these fancy outfits um also i don't know what i'm having so i didn't want to like you know put these cute gorgeous outfits and stuff together when you know i'm sure the baby's born i'll just be going all out and plus when the baby's born non-essential retail can open again which means i'll be going to like next mums and papas zara like all these cute places where you can buy baby bits instead of just going online boring stuff first i just got two packets of just plain baby vests so they're baby grows um but they're just like the vest ones to put underneath clothing um, I got these in a size, um, I've got first size and zero to three months. So obviously when it grows out the first size, it goes straight to zero to three months. So at least I've just got some basics there. You get three in a pack and they're £2.75. I mean, not going to argue with that. Next, I got the exact same thing, but in a sleep suit version. Again, I've got first size and then zero to three months just for when they grow out from so quick and all that sort of stuff. They're just plain white very inoffensive and you get five in a pack so that's pretty good and they are eight pounds so i think that's pretty good going honestly i found george asda the best for neutral clothing so all whites creams you know non-gender specific things like that i found um george to be the, the best then i got these you can't really see them in the little packaging here they were seven pounds for three 
I'll get one of them out to show you. I need to wash them all anyway, obviously. I'm in the nursery as we speak. I filmed a makeup video here the other day because it has really good lighting. So I thought, well, well maybe we should use this room. Um, but obviously we'll be decorating it soon. So, so basically these are just some white and grey. They're not really sleep suits. So I guess they're just little baby grows, but they're like short sleeved. Um, obviously the baby will be born in the spring, summer. So just little light outfits. I mean, they're just so cute. It's hard to believe there's a baby that's gonna fit in this anyway. They actually look quite big. I think I must've got the zero to three months. But by the time it's the summer, the baby will be zero to three months, so. Three for seven pounds, so again, bargain. Two fun outfits. So this was a Winnie the Pooh set. How cute. So you get like a little like neckerchief thing. Dawn, stop it, no, no, don't do that. You get a little neckerchief thing, a little baby grow. And if you can see. Um, and just a little sleep suit, little pair of leggings, a hat. So I'm gonna, I got this in the first size. Again, first size means uh, up to nine pounds. I'm gonna take this to the hospital and potentially have it as the coming home outfit. Um, I'm not sure yet though. But yeah, I just thought this was dead cute. And then I've got another one as well. That was, by the way, 14 pounds. And you get like six things. You get the bib, the hat, a sleep suit, a top, leggings. So you get like a lot. I've also got the same, but in Peter Rabbit. How cute. So I thought that was absolutely gorgeous. This will probably be the sort of like not announcement picture because I don't want to plan it to that extent. But I love the whites, the little blue bunnies on it. You get a little Peter Rabbit hat. Um, I think that's dead cute. So yeah, I'm gonna take this. To, I'm gonna take both these to the hospital. Um, I don't know which I'll have as like the sort of picturey one. I did want to go like white and blues and white and pinks, but um, I couldn't really see any white and pinks. There was a, there was a lot of like just bright pinks, and I wanted like a subtle pink. So that's what I bought from there. That should do me for like a few days after the baby's born. As soon as the baby's born, I'm sure loads of people are gonna go out and buy his outfits and things like that. But for the time being, I just needed to know I had something. I have ordered all of our baby furniture now. That should be arriving early April. So I'm cutting it fine. So our carpet is coming next week. Then we can put the cot up and put all the bedding and stuff on the cot. And then I can wash the clothes and just lay them in the cot or in like some storage bus baskets until the furniture arrives and then I could put them in the furniture, like the wardrobes and the dresser and stuff. Um, so yeah, it should all be coming together nicely. now half past eight i have been up since about quarter to seven because i got an email from dpd or dhl um saying that my parcel will be here between uh 7 15 and 8 15 and it's not here so that was really really good because i'm really glad i got up showered half ready for the lack of parcels being arrived i have done though as you've just seen, made my breakfast. I am trying a new coffee today. So you would have seen it on the video. It's um, like a coffee tea bag. Never tried it. So cool. Tastes really nice as well. My sister-in-law is making these really cool hampers. Um, and she does like tea and coffee ones, spa ones, uh, like birthday Valentines. And in the tea and coffee one, she's trialing out at the moment some things that she would put in there. So she's given me and Danny some um, sort of samples to try. And this was a sample for the coffee tea bag situation, which I found really, really, really good because literally like a tea bag, you just dip it in for a few minutes, put it in the bin. And it's nice and strong as well for an instant coffee. Most instants are just so, I find instant coffee really weak because I drink so much barista coffee. So instant for me is just like water, but this one is a nice strong one, so. If you're into your instant coffees, then you should check that out. But I've put a wash load on, 
cleaned the kitchen, had my breakfast, and then I lit my wax melt. Now I have the fresh linen and wax fresh linen wax melts from a company called Elysian Flame. You can find them on Instagram. I'll leave the, the, the Instagram in the description bar below. Um, she has recently started making candles um, and wax melts in lockdown. And actually it's taken off like really, really well. And honestly, I have so many Yankee candles. I have Jo Malone candles. I have the Woodwicks ones. I'm a real candle connoisseur. Um, and I've had a lot of the wax melts before as well, especially the Yankee ones that you can always get in home bargains and stuff. And this by far is my favorite smell. It's really strong. Um, Cause I think you can get used to certain smells, can't you? But this one is really strong. And I went for the fresh linen one and it just smells beautiful. Uh, so it's supposed to be amazing today. It's supposed to be like 13 degrees. So spring has sprung, as you would say. Um, I'm meeting my wonderful grandma for a walk today. I'm meeting her at about midday. Then I'm just gonna do some like cleaning. I've got loads of work to do with the computer today. So it's gonna be a bit of a boring day really, not hugely much to report. I will be washing my hair tonight as well because this is day two of me looking like Slick Rick. What are you up to? Too. He's lounging around. Just lounging around. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> You probably haven't seen me for a few days um, because I am the worst vlogger ever. Saying that, my days are fairly repetitive. I mean, there is only so much dog walking and me sitting at the computer doing work that I can actually film and it'd be interesting. So I try just to include random snippets of thoughts and when I'm just like doing something. Um, but I hope you just liked my little Dyson quick tutorial thing. You can't really see right now with my hair because um, my hair is so dark <laughs> i'm trying to get a decent light for you but i have gone all out today it is friday after all generally on a friday i sort of always try to do all my makeup and hair and i take some pictures for the gram because that's when i could be bothered to actually look nice but most of the week i don't really have makeup on and things like that um i'm about to go and clean my washing machine mainly because i saw a girl on tiktok do it yesterday and it just made me want to clean it <laughs> so i'm going to go and do that and then i need to get done out for a walk um and then we have our carpet arriving for the nursery today thank god because danny needs to really put all the furniture up because next week i am seven weeks away next week i can say i'm having a baby next month yeah i know i'm scared too i have been making danny watch one ball every minute and emma willis delivering babies and he is quite horrified actually. Um, but it has made us appreciate that little moment at the end when they actually give birth and you see this like massive human. You're like, oh my God, how was that living inside me? Uh, so that's scary to think I'm just seven weeks away. Crazy. Um, also, I'm gonna show you all the baby bits that I've bought so far because I've actually bought way more than I thought I did. So let me take you downstairs. Okay, so. Oh. Sorry if I'm slightly out of breath. I've just got back from a dog walk. Um, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful Friday. And I thought I would show you all of the baby bits <laughs> that I've bought so far, or we've been gifted to us so far. Um, there is a lot here, so I probably won't get through all of it. But if I can show you some major bits, then that might incite you if you're pregnant and you might think oh yeah i forgot to get that i will say as well my friend who's also pregnant 
created the baby list of all baby lists it she smashed it she thought of everything she done it on her phone she sent me the link so we could like share the notes and i've just followed her list so that has been absolute godsend so let me just show you some of the big bits first okay so as you saw in the wrapper it's the angel care bath seat bath bed <laughs> um i don't know if i can get it out basically long story short the baby can just lay in this bath thing uh i think i could have like 20 quid from mums and puppies so that's that out of the way um i've got loads of things like clothes little teddies my friend got me this my other friend got me this for Christmas. This is the baby monitor we decided to go for. It's the BT Video Baby Monitor 6000, five inch color screen and remote control camera. We saw our friends in, must have been summer last year, and they had this one, and so we just got this one. I don't really know anyone else that has other ones. Um, and if I do, I haven't asked them or seen them use it. So, because we just knew our friends had this one, we went online, saw really good reviews for it. And when we got our pram, because we spent over a certain amount of money, mums and papas gave us a 150 pound voucher to spend. So this was 130 and the bath was 20. So we actually got these essentially for free because the, the pram. So sorry if this feels really like an unorganized like show and tell. I'm not gonna like spend ages doing it because I could always do a separate video showing bits we got. Um, but I wanted to just include some bits in the vlog of things that we've got so far. If I move out the way here, you'll be able to see. This is our next to me crib. So Danny's gonna put that up for us at the weekend so we can start getting used to having that next to the bed. Okay, <laughs> massive heavy box as quick as my head. I'll make this one quick. This is the Tommy TP um nappy disposal system aka a nappy bin i didn't know i'd need one of these but a girl messaged me on instagram and said do not forget a nappy bin and i was thinking why can't i just put it in a normal bin but then i thought oh yeah like why would i put poo in my normal bin i don't put don's poo in my normal bin obviously he poos outside anyway but i would bring it in and put it in the bin here so it's like a certain bin for babies shit i'm guessing it has like a filter traded system where it probably disguises the smell um i can see it makes like the nappy sacks really compact so i guess it's to avoid the smell obviously as i have a dog i don't want him going into the bin and smelling it as this is going to be quite low to the ground so i thought actually that was a really good idea i got this in the asda baby event in the beginning of january i can't remember how much i paid i think it was like 20 pounds again and it comes with six filters as well so i have the tommy tp bottle sterilizer no is it a sterilizer no it's not i lied what is it oh the prep machine <laughs> the tommy tp perfect prep machine um i've heard this is like the best thing you could ever have um obviously i don't know what i'm doing yet if i'm gonna breastfeed bottle feed both don't know um but i've heard that if you do bottle feed this is supposed to be absolutely incredible it's like a modern day version of a coffee machine but for bottle formula except from and this is where i think i should go on da dragon's den here i think you should be able to have formula pods that you would put in this machine like a coffee machine press a button and then the formula and the whole bottle will just come out as one but i've heard you still have to put the formula in the bottle and then it just is it just water that comes out at the right temperature i think this must be what it is i don't really know how to set all this sort of stuff up but we got one of them because everyone was telling us to get one i didn't get the tommy tp bottles though i got the man bottles and I also went for some mam uh, dummies as well. You can't really see them. So yeah, obviously I have way more stuff than this as well. But they're some of the major bits that I've bought so far. And if I turn you around, this in here is the rocker that I went for. There's not really a picture of it other than at the top there. But it's kind of like one of them electric movie things. So, huh, wow. Wow. This has got me out of breath. I am going to make some rice crispy squares. Why don't I just buy them, you ask? I don't know. I asked myself that very same question. 
but there is a a, um, a Instagrammer called Jane's Patisserie and she has the recipe to make them and you include mini eggs in them and if it includes mini eggs I'm sold of starting um like a what i eat in a day pregnant edition because i watch quite a lot of them on um tiktok and youtube because it's quite good to get ideas of like, what you can and can't eat pregnant and also um what foods are nutritional for the baby but then i thought it's just not me you know mm. so what we have here is a very nutritious cream cake i believe it has caramel icing on the bottom cream in the middle i'm gonna say it chef's kiss